media needs to take responsibility for the effect that it has on our younger generation, on these girls that are watching these television shows and picking up how to talk. And the word fat, I just think it should be illegal to call somebody fat on, on TV. I mean, if we're regulating cigarettes and sex and cuss words because of the effect it has on our younger generation, why aren't we regulating things like calling people fat? All right, so they're banning Phil Robertson's views from A&E. Now Jennifer Lawrence wants the word fat banned. Are we headed down a dangerous path here? Catherine Chimpf joins us now from Washington, D.C. She's a reporter and uh, columnist and commentator on issues. And Catherine, your quick thought on this. Um, look, the word fat can definitely hurt people, but should it be made illegal to say on television? Well, first of all, she was complaining about the show Fashion Police, and I highly doubt that any young girl develops her self-image based on what Joan Rivers says is cool. But even if they did, <laughs> I don't think the government, the government doesn't have the right or even the ability to legislate people out of having hurt feelings. I, I think that maybe the better thing would do would be for parents to say, look, ignore the fashion industry, period. I mean, this is not a a health-driven industry, whether we're talking about shows about fashion on television or the magazine industry based up around it, such as, uh, as Vogue. Uh, this is uh, an industry that obsesses over image in a very unhealthy way. None of the women in those magazines or on those shows that you talk about look like the real women we see on the streets that are in our families. Right, absolutely. And that's why I thought this was funny that she would say something like this, because that's how she makes her money. If she were that concerned, maybe she could tell people in magazines not to airbrush her photos or something like that. Because I don't think that these image problems that women have come from people calling other people fat on television. I think it comes more from seeing these pictures that nobody looks like in real life. Well, there was just an incident, I believe, with Jennifer Lawrence being airbrushed. And they, they cinched in her waist. This is not, she's not a fat woman. Not by any normal standard. No. Maybe in Hollywood where 110 pounds is considered overweight for a normal height woman. Right. Perhaps there. But they did airbrush her and they shrank her waist and, and they removed other parts and they moved things around. Uh, this is just, uh, this is, it, it's the industry. I don't think it's necessarily the word. Exactly. And wanting to ban the word is just part of a trend of continually wanting to limit free speech. There are a lot of things out there that hurt people's feelings. But what are we going to do? Outlaw pretty much every show on television. American Idol and The Voice, they tell people they're bad singers. I'm tone deaf. Am I offended by that? Maybe. I don't know. Not really. But if I was, it doesn't mean it should be outlawed. Basically, what's going to happen is if this keeps going down this road, are the only shows we're going to have on television, people just sitting around telling each other how pretty they are and how perfect they are, just so as not to well, offend anybody? We could go down that route. There is also the problem that a lot of the progressive politicians uh, that want to have food bans or want to legislate how we can eat, um, I wouldn't call them fat on air because that would be mean, but they're not exactly the pictures of health. <laughs> we, making it illegal for me to use the word fat on television would prevent me from pointing out the obvious. Right. And it's almost there's another side to it where women who are thin or who are in good shape are accused of not eating. Go eat a cheeseburger. It's a good thing to be healthy. It's a good thing to be in shape. And people have all kinds of insecurities. It's not just about fat or skinny. It's it spans across all kinds of things. So if you're going to ban the word fat, I don't know what's next. We're going to be demonizing people who are healthy. It's just all signs point to we should not be limiting free speech any more than it's already limited. All right. You uh, you report for campus reform, among other places. Uh, you deal mainly with uh, abuses, whether it's abuse of free speech, abuse of tax dollars, crazy things going on on campuses. But as you do that, uh, do you get the sense that the young women at universities, colleges and universities are taking their fashion cues from Joan Rivers and therefore need to be protected? Absolutely not. I don't think that anybody looks to Joan Rivers. I don't even know anybody who watches that show. I think the impact that fashion police is having on our culture is very, very minimal, if at all. So uh, I think that's not so much a concern. I think a bigger threat to our culture, all of these threats to th uh, free speech and free expression. Catherine, thanks so much for joining us. We'll chat soon, I hope.